Today I'm going to be doing a review of these Microtik wireless wire uh, indoor outdoor APs. Um, by default they're set up out of the box to connect automatically together um, and I have definitely confirmed that. I just took them out of the box and set them up uh, about five feet from each other and they connected right up automatically. Um, these things claim one gig in uh, uh, wireless speed and um, it doesn't say so here or anywhere on the back but it does say so online that they're supposed to be full duplex so we'll be testing that as well um, so what I have here is I have four PCs right now you only see the two um, that um, I'll be doing the uh, file transfer between. So both the PCs you see here are on uh, this side of the link. The other PCs that are being transferred to are over there. Um, I have an uplink right here over to those PCs that goes into this switch. Right now um, the uplink is going to one of the APs over there and then wirelessly transferring over to this one which then goes in right here to this switch where both of these PCs are plugged into and um, consequently uh, I have also confirmed that this does work with tagged VLAN traffic um, this is in a different VLAN than this so uh, and both attached to that same switch and the uplink is tagging all my VLANs over to here. So, and I have tested this multiple times and every time has been uh, right around between 900 and 950-ish, uh, up and down. So it does do as claimed. I did a speed test to the server that I'm uh, gonna be transferring the file to and I'll do that speed test again. This is just a web-based um, HTML5 speed test we'll test this again and you can see the speed here also correlates with what is shown there um, so this uh, speed test is fairly accurate but now let's go ahead and I'm gonna attempt to move uh, this file over to the remote PC and so that'll transfer file over there. Now I'm going to move a file from a different remote PC over to this local file uh, share here, the C drive. Um, all four of these PCs are running solid state hard drives on them, so uh, we won't be bottlenecked by that. They can definitely read and write faster than a gig. Um, so without any further ado, we'll go ahead and move this file and then quickly uh, do that transfer. In fact, maybe it'd be easier for me to do the start here. So let's start here. And let's copy that over. And, oh, oops, wrong mouse. Copy that over. And so if you see there, we're pretty good speeds there and pretty good speeds there so close to a gig right there and close to a gig there um, this is testing download on these and that's testing upload so both full duplex pretty much 900 and above speeds um, a four gigabyte file Windows 10 image most recent one I consider anything above 900 megs um, to be a win as far as a gig link goes so both of those transferred through my um, wireless link here uh, in both directions through my uplink anyway so I feel like that was a successful test of these. 
Um, I will be changing the default um, the default IP on these APs to so that I can manage them on my network. Um, my brother lives just kitty corner from me, and I bought these so that I could uh, connect our networks together. Previously, I had these um, Ubiquity APs, and they did great. Uh, I got between 200 and 300 megs up and down, not simultaneously though. Uh, these are just conventional wireless. Of course, these work over the 60 megahertz, uh, or gigahertz, sorry, and uh, so that's why we get higher speeds. But these pretty much require line of sight. It does say on the back of the box that you can do it through Windows, but it is probably going to degrade it a little bit. So we'll be doing some line of sight. Now, um, once I get these up between my brothers and my house, um, I will be doing another similar speed test on there. I probably won't be doing simultaneous. Uh, he doesn't have, well, I guess I could. I suppose I will then. Anyway, um, decision made right there, live. Not so much live to you, but live to me. So anyway, um, these APs are great. Um, I got these on eBay for $160. Uh, you can find them elsewhere. I, I saw them as low as 140 used on Amazon. I did not move quickly enough to get those, so I got these on eBay. But brand new, I believe they're 180. Um, and as long as they can take the outdoor weather, they'll uh, be every bit worth the money. They do claim that they are outdoor capable, and the build, um, I do feel like the build quality of these, um, it'll probably take the weather just fine. Uh, they're fairly small compared to other APs that I've had, including the ones that you just saw. Um, very compact and discreet. So, very happy with these, and hopefully when I get them in place, I'll continue to be happy with them. Um, I have tested them not being directly in line of sight, like this one down low, that one I moved all the way up there and tested it and it did degrade it just a little bit. It went down to like 700 megs up and down. Um, so that's that, but anyway, I'm very excited about these. So that is all. If you have questions, leave them in the comments section and uh, I, I try to do my best to answer or at least respond to or acknowledge the uh, comments that people have. So uh, feel free to ask, and I will do my best to answer.